Hey folks, Mo Resourceful here. On today's video, I'm going to tell you how to invite a squirrel to lunch using the survivalist shotgun. If you haven't already seen it, go watch our video on how to make a survivalist shotgun using a PVC pipe. I also need to take a moment to tell you that for this video, viewer discretion is advised. Especially for those of you who are members of Pet Peeve, the people for ethical treatment of plants and edible vegetation. We invite the squirrel to lunch, we are going to cook him. In cooking him, we do need to burn some wood. But I'll let you know, we used only deadfall wood. We did not harm any plants when we made this video. This looks like a good place to lay down a tasty invitation. Looks like the squirrel has decided to accept her invitation to lunch. Alright folks, now that we've got our squirrel, it's time to pray pair him for cooking. Always remember, Wash your hands before working with food. Some have asked, is it difficult to clean a squirrel? Absolutely not. Take your squirrel, swish him around in a little bit of cool, clean water. Inspect for hair. The hair is not good to eat. Once your squirrel is clean, it's time to take him to the fire. And here it is. For those of you that don't recognize this device, watch my video on how to make a camp stove out of a paint can. They're very efficient. You can put deadfall wood in there so you don't have to take down any live trees to cook your food. I like to get mine started with a Vaseline-infused cotton ball. If you're not familiar with those, watch my video on how to make Vaseline fused cotton balls. They're very good at getting the fire going. Now you may expect that after chaos ensues situation, matches are going to be difficult to come by. If you expect it, then you should be prepared for it. So we're going to find, need to find a way to get this fire going without matches, or you can watch my video on how to have matches even after a chaos ensues situation. Get our fire going. We'll give that a moment to heat up. While that's heating up, take a stick, always a deadfall stick. Hang your squirrel carefully on the stick. And I always like to have a little vegetable with my food, so I got this carrot on the way over. Picked it right from the ground. Hold the meat and the carrot over the fire, but not too close. We don't want to burn it and then patiently wait for your squirrel to cook. I'll see you at the table. That smells delicious. And looks even better. Just the way I like my squirrel. Almost perfect. 